Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mike Beltran has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, two seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John. John Jones, welcome back. What's up, man? Thank you so much. How are you, Joe Rogan? I'm good, sir. How are you doing? Oh, man. How am doing? Uh, God is so good. After all the pressure, all the chaos, everything that has happened in your life up to this moment, how good does it feel to be back, to be victorious, and to have that UFC gold around your waist right now? Hey, you know what? Without God, I am absolutely nothing. All glory be to God. Um, Man, with that being said, man, this is great. This is a great feeling. Uh, I want to thank my beautiful fiance, Jessie, man. She is, she has, uh, man, she really helped me get through this one and, and all the fights. Uh, just so strong. My coaching staff, Greg Jackson, Mike Winglejohn, Izzy Martinez, Roberto Alencar, my man Aaron, Brandon Gibson, Tusa, Lauren, Lawrence, uh, my swim coach, Jesse. I mean, I'm, I'm really a product of the beautiful people around me. One of my best friends, Tule, Ali G, my, my team. Man, I, I just got a great group of men around me, mighty men. I'm a product of all of them. What did it feel like stepping into the octagon tonight? Was there any difference? What was the pressure like? Uh, you know, the different, oh, Leo. My man, Leo, my boxing partner. You know, I, man, the first time I fought Alexander, I, I stayed in his punching range. And, uh, and the main difference was I was aware of how far away I was at all times. Alexander did some great combinations, but if you really go back and watch the fight, uh, he landed very few punches in my face tonight. And that was just from a greater sense of uh, understanding. I really think our team is the most dangerous team, especially when we get a rematch. Well, let's take a look at the final finish, John, and enjoy your handiwork. You, you got him down to the ground, and then during the scramble, you wound up taking his back Talk us through this right here. Yeah, man, that's, that's Gracie Baja Jiu Jitsu and uh, Kaido Jiu Jitsu. Uh, just, you know, Alexander Gustafson, he's the type of guy where if he can get up quick, he does well. If you can hold him down past 30 seconds, you're more than likely gonna be keeping him down. We knew that, so the idea was to get back to wrestling, getting that right in time. And then after you get that right in time, start looking for ground and pound and submissions. And, Everything worked out. Now, John, there's been a lot of talk about you potentially fighting as a heavyweight, defending your light heavyweight title, becoming a two-division champ. What are your thoughts now? What would you like to do next? Man, I know there's a guy who's been calling himself champ champ. <laughs> I mean, what guy just gives up his belt because somebody else made it home? Daddy's home, DC. Prove to the fans you're a champ champ. Come get a taste. I'm here. Get your belt back. I'll be waiting right here.